Hi. How you doing? Yeah, I'm back. Uh, you know, you know, school kind of sucks, bro. Like, I'm serious. Like, astronomy, man. Like, I, I, I just wrote down my entire astronomy book. Like, I went through like 104 slides, just writing stuff down. Like, bro, I, bro, astrology. I don't understand how people just like, bro. We literally the, like, this whole Sagittarius and bull crap. Like, the people take that stuff literally. Sagittarius is a freaking star. Thing. It's a collection of stars, and it's just convenient that when you look up at a certain month, it's that certain amount of stars. It's so weird. Like people say that astrology is easy, it is, but it's so boring. Like my teacher, he's some Asian Chinese man. He doesn't use a mic when we're in that big old hall, and he he'll be like, as you can see the 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 stars here, and he talked like that for like an hour. An hour, right? And I'm just sitting there in the very back row, like, I know I should move up, but gosh darn it, I still don't care what he's saying, even if I'm close. I can't hear him. I can't hear him. I mean, that's all I can say. Like, bro, I don't understand. Like, bro, I, I'm not I'm trying to be racist. I'm just saying, like, if you got an accent, you got an accent. And if I can't understand it, I'm not going to act like I can. And I'm not going to care. Especially when you're talking about the stars. I mean, I'm not going to lie. What? what, what? He, he, he's a um, first generation immigrant as well. He said, I moved here with my family when I was like 23. I'm like, nigga, you came here when you were 23 and the first thing you thought about was the stars? I mean, America's city, America's a place of dreams, I guess. We're playing, drum roll please. You're supposed to be drumming, why drumming? Shadowworks. Raw Fury. Sable, yeah, we're playing Sable. I don't know what this game's about. It just looks cool. It's had a cool. It had good music, and I'm already liking this piano. It's already, it's, it's already giving me the vibes. Just like you're sitting there with the blunt, and you're just like, oh. People say it's like a platformer. You ride a motorcycle, and that's all I know. But I'm here for the vibe. I'm here to get that feeling of when I'm sitting alone in my room and it's raining outside, and I'm just like, what am I doing, bro? And I pop on some jazz. And I'm like. Oh, this is it. This is the feeling I want. And the loading, I'm stalling because the loading screen, of course, but you know, I gotta do it. Shed works. Whoa. That's some trippy graphics. Okay, bet. I should be playing this on controller. Yeah, let me get this controller out. I was gonna play it on. This seems like it'd be a good controller game. Let me make sure. Yeah. Oh, is that a ro Whoa, it's a roach. The beetle, step on it, crush it. These graphics, oh, that is a janky looking run. Why my thumb move like that? What up, Shotty? Stop staring at me. Is this supposed to be like all like glitchy and stuff? I guess I'll deal with it. Dang, I do not like that movement. That movement is weird. But the camera's smooth. Oh, now we go. There we fix it. Wow, bro. Dang, I walk like a bot. Like da, 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 da. da. I walk on beat, bro. That's crazy. Dang, Shotty got a big nose. Can I go under this? I can. Exploration, kids. That's what all games desire you to do. Explore. I'm leaving this place. This is creeping me out. Okay, you can jump. Da, 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 Bet, bro. Jump. This A. Yes, I, I'm aware. You can climb. Dang, she got the climate. She's got like the Breath of the Wild thing. All right, bet, bet, bet. Let's go, let's go. Crouch. Do I have to hold it? Nope. Yo. It's a town, bro. It's on fire. We gotta hurry. Come on. Oh, shoot, that's death. That's a death fall. Maybe I should look around. Yeah, I was about to say that would kill me. Yeah, I float when I jump. 
She lags in the air, bro. Look at this. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, uh. I like the sprint. Go, girl. Sprint. Sprint like your life depends on it. Move. I can't see. Let me see that sprint. Yeah, I like that stride. Get that stride in. Duck, 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 duck. Index camp. Is that a floating ship? Oh, I want one. I want a ship that floats. That looks cool. What's up, everybody? Look at this man. That man got no leg. That sucks, bro. No talking. One second. One second. <laughs> Is this person older or young? I can feel the die smiling beyond her mask. Just as I know she feel the teeth bearing little grimace behind mine. I'm nervous, and she's softly, sweetly amused in her eyes. I probably have very little to worry about. My name is Jedi or JD? Jedi or JD? JD. I'm saying JD because that just sounds cooler. JD. What up, JD? What up, shorty JD? You gonna you gonna mess with a girl named JD? I feel like it's a girl that will beat your freaking face in, like throw a bottle at you when you don't cook dinner right, and you're the man. Where's my dinner? I'm sorry, honey. I had work. Make me dinner. She beats you with a stick and a pool cue. So what's my? Vo I'm saying my voice. I'm me. You know I have nothing to worry about. Don't you say it. See that sounds like wait all oh, wait. What is her name? Who's talking? So that's JD. What's my name? So I'm Sable. Okay, that's a way cooler name. Answer. I'm not worried. I never worry. I tell. Tell her I'm not worried at all. Oh, it's in like a book perspective. Like I'm reading. I tell her I'm not worried at all, and it's probably the least convincing I've ever been. Shut up, I am not worried. You can say that, my love. But I know, I do know how you are. You're going to be nervous until you started. Then you'll act like you've been doing it your whole life. Remember the first time you rode a bike? Around the third grade, I fell. And the last time I rode a bike seriously, uh, I was in like, what, the fifth grade, sixth grade. I did like, I was riding real fast. I'm talking like, we're going a good 10 miles an hour. And I'm just pedaling. And I was like, mom, mom, look. And I started doing this with the bars. Like, I literally go back and forth. You know how if you turn, you go, look, you're going to go like that. So my bike starts doing that, and the wheel gets super close. And then that boy just dip, ducks. It's like the bike took me, and you just flipped me over. And I fell, and the bike, my arm was, in my, this hand was in the bike. And it went like, so we're like, ha! it was like freaking some sort of Naruto. We like, yeah, that was my hand. And then I got up and I'm like, oh, my hand hurts. And then I was, I was ignoring it. And I rode back. And then when I got to bed, it was so weird how broken bro bones were. Because it's like, at first I didn't feel nothing. When I got home, it didn't start hurting until I got in bed. Because when I got in bed, this boy was like, oh, you throbbing. And then I started hurting. I'm like, bro, mom, my arm hurts. My arm hurts. And I broke my wrist. And at first they said, oh, you just brained it oh it was a hairline fracture always broken they went from three different things that's why i don't trust doctors even though my mom is a doctor i love you mom but seriously you people be trying to get a buck out of us talking about i got a hairline fracture then it's broken and then i mean then it's fractured then it's broken i'm like bro what what is it is it fixed or not i don't know but i don't know if you hear this but every time i move this boy it cracks it wouldn't even let me put you on the seat you were so afraid your hands were like little claws gripping onto me Bet you enjoyed it. I, I feel the memory in my fingers. Yeah, I felt I felt the grasp of that dumpy body you got. I'll never forget. But then I promised you it was going to be all right. I told you how much I had loved riding my bike as young woman. That's a woman. I digress. And how wonderful the wind felt through fabric. Suddenly you were there. You were. You sat down. You leaned forward and put those. Little grasping claws on the handle, and you were off. I remember thinking just watching you tear over the sand. Look at her. She can do whatever she wants. Jedi reaches out and places a hand on the edge of my mask. Chill, bro. And you can, Sable. I take a breath. I'm ready. 
I thank Jedi for the encouragement, and I tell her with a nod that I think I'm ready. I know you are. So let's get you started. We need to talk to Hillal and Driss. Driss will already have made the arrangements for your bike, and Hillal... Wait, is it Hillal? I'm gonna say Hillal. We'll share something. Well, let's say as useful as it's... Uh, Let's say as useful as it is fun. Hmm? I think I might suspect of what Jedi is saying, but I stay quiet. After that, I suppose we'll see you off. I'm about to leave Toon. Toon? Joseph? I, I think the word he mean was town. Yes. Shut up, Joseph. Shut up. Yeah, just, yeah, just shut up. I'll be back soon. I don't choose the wrong path. I am the path. I, will, I don't go planning your return before you've even left. Take all the time you need. It's a big decision you're making out there. I tell her that's why I'm so eager to make it. To choose the well and quickly. So that I don't have to go too far down the wrong path. Whatever you decide, you do so with my blessing. So, don't try using me as an excuse to come home early, eh? She knows me. I go speak with Halal. I'll be there to see you off. I speak to Driss as well. I told him to arrange your bike with Sizzo. But you know how he is. I have something to give you. A compass that will guide you on your journey. It's the same one I used on my gliding. An artifact, you might say. I take the device in my palm. It fits naturally there. Perfectly weighed and crafted. Each component slides together in incredible, satisfying precision. I, I don't say thank you. Frick you. You give me what you owe me. Duck, 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 walk. Okay, that's north. Who's this guy? What up, man? Oh, you're the guy that lost your leg. I should make fun of you. As I approached Halal, they gave me an enthusiastic wave. I've always appreciated Halal's ver verve and vigor. And on a day like this, I'm ready to match it. With a touch of nerves for balance. Sable, take this. Halal hands me a small rose stone. As it is net netless. Nestless. Nest what the frick is nestles? <laughs> my nestles, my nesticles, bro. That just sounds weird. As it nestles, nuzzle? It's not nuzzle, it's nestles. As it nestles into my palm, I feel a warmth not borrowed from Halal's hands, but emanating from within. I rub my thumb over it and find it softly electric, like static on cloth. What is this? Oh, I should have said, I didn't bring anything from you. Oh, wait, I shouldn't have said that, because that's just confession. Like, I should have brought you something. No, you owe me. I try to sound less confused than I am, but Halal asks what this is. But I ask, but I ask, oh, okay, for, I keep forgetting that it's in first person. Well, Sable, you don't leave without, you can't leave without it. What I've just given you is the gliding stone. Gliding stone. What do you feel? I tell Halal what I feel. Electricity. Then you're doing it right. What you feel in that stone is openness. How the heck does electricity mean openness? I look at the stone. It seems quite closed. Gliding stones are vessels for the per perpetual. For perpetual? Like, like, like the word perpetual? Okay. They suck up its power like little sponges and hold it there for you to channel. Right now it's empty and dormant. And waiting for you to fill it up. I ask how I can do this. I take you to the temple ruins at the edge of the canyon. You'll be able to activate it there. They all claps their hands twice and bobs a little. I appreciate their good mood at a time like this. Come back to me once it's all done. I want to hear about it. As, as I'm about to leave, Hello stops me. Oh, you haven't forgotten your bucket, have you? It's a bit of a trek to the temple, so go see Driss. He was meant to get that ready for you, yes? I remember Jedi's words and now tell Lala that I'll go and see Driss. Bye, I'm not coming back to see you. I'm never coming back once I leave this town. Y'all's a bunch of freaks. Is that my bike? It's an ugly freaking bike. Yo, man, what up? I feel like I told myself not to be too eager. It's all I can do not to raise up to Driss. Driss is the camp manager. He's been difficult to get hold of lately. But now, I strongly suspect that he's been working on my bike in secret. Perhaps it's an extra beautiful or has some custom feature. What will its name be, I wonder? How fast will it go? My legs feel sore when I get used to it. Just turns me with a bit of a start. S Sable! Uh, hello! Let's see what we got here. 
I was told you have something special for me, boy. I told you that he is. <laughs> I was told he has something special for me. Something special? I nod very meaningfully, but he doesn't seem to get the hint. I take, I make a leading gesture, slowly trying to be perfectly cool and confidential, but I can't do it. I'm too keen and my words spell out. I sure if he might have some sort of possibility, maybe a bike for me. Your bike? He yells like, like it's an idea he just had. Your bike, yes, of, of course, right. Yes, your bike. That I was meant to, or uh, that, that I prepared for you because today is your lighting. Yes. Just nods along with me. Y yes, of course, right. Yes, yes. Uh, I do have that. My blood runs cold. Has he forgotten? By which you mean I arranged it for you. And, uh, well, it's sort of a tutorial for you. Nigga, what do you mean a tutorial? Yes, exactly. A uh, learning experience. You see, Sable, there, before one can own their bike, they must prove that they can ride a bike by testing a test ride on a different bike. Think about it, and, uh, fine. I've never, wait, I think about it and I find that I've heard of, of that part of the gliding, but Driss does seem earnest, sort of. So instead of worrying about your bike, I'd like you to try this bike as a test. But say, that ain't my bike. I ain't driving that thing, bro. Driss gestures to the sand cutter at his side. It's quite old and a little shabby, a tester if I've ever seen one. What's the bike's name? Driss seems scandalized. That's a bit personal, don't you think? Just sand cutter will do for now. Youngsters these days, always asking questions. Nigga, what's the bike? What's the bike's name? Now ride. Ride the bike through the ring and back. And here's some advice to you, my young glider. Don't fall off. When you're not riding it, the hover bike will appear as a blue icon on your map. Okay, back. Give me on that bike. Oh, you can strafe? This is thing is slow as freak. Hit the boosters! Oh, we're strafing. Hit the boosters on this bike. We we are professional. Oh yeah. Yeah boy. Hit a drift on a hundred bands. Put it up with my brother. Yes! How about that, boy? Did that perfectly fine. Get up. Return to who somehow managed to seem caught off guard despite knowing I was coming. Sable, congratulations. How was your first pre-glide ride? Any strange rattles? Unexplained hissing? Small fires? What do you mean, fires? Surely you'd notice if there were, there were a fire, even a little bit. Yes, absolutely. Well, obviously it didn't happen, so I think we're fine. Driss, is this bike dangerous? Everything sounded normal. Well, the sand cutter must like... Sand cutter must like you then. It's usually a little more temperamental with new riders, but you're not even a little bit on fire. Have you already been by Halal? Yes, give me my bike. I've been her Halal. Thank Driss for the reminder. Before the last nudging at him about the bike, I asked him if he'll still be getting one. Well, you're getting the use of the sand cutter. That's nothing, eh? You can borrow it to run your little errands. My little errands. And Halal's got something to show you, too. Help out with more of uh, that mobility you're after. With my confidence in his exercise only lightly tarnished, I thank Drish, I thank Drish very much for his help and his bike, and I depart for Halal. I just went to Halal, bro. Freak Halal. What is that, a freaking cow? What is this thing? Look at your eyes. Can I step on you? Let me step on you. What is this? I can I can pick things up. Cool. Let me get on this freaking cow. Yeah, boy. Yeah, break the game. Break the game. Yes. I slide on this thing. You mad? You mad? I hear that noise you're making. Alright, let's go. Boing. Boing. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, climb, girl. Yes, sir. I would talk to you, but you have nothing to say that I want to hear. Where's hello? Let's go. What do you want, hello? Head up to the temple, Sable. I promise it'll be worth the trip. 
Frick, I have to use that bike to get to the temple now. Don't fall, don't fall. Let's hit it up. Uh, the temple's, um, this way. There it is. I see it. This bike is terrible. I hate this thing. It's like a freaking junk scrap thing. Why did you do this to me? I deserve better. I am better. Dang, this bike sucks. Look at this thing. It's freaking wonking on me. I should shoot Driss. I should I'm gonna go there with my Glock 19 in P42. I'm gonna shoot Driss. Give me this crappy bike. Who does he think I am? He does not know me. Open up! Temple! This is this has to be the temple. No, this is not the temple, is it? That's the temple. How many temples are there in this game? Alright, we made it to the temple. I think. Yeah, this is definitely it. Let's go. Pops! Climb faster. We gotta go. We gotta we got things to do. Time to run. Sprint, sprint girl, sprint girl. Bird. Let me aim at it. Where's the bird? Let me aim. Aim. And take aim, take aim. Fire She would have been dead. That, bir that bird would have been cracked. Bet. Lever. Ale. Yeah, boy, we opened that. Come on. Let me get out of here. Get me out of here. Woo! She does not take fall damage. That's crazy. Can I jump climb? Nope, I can't. Climb. Climb, girl. You can make it. She can make it. What am I talking about? She ain't Link. You ain't Link. I knew you are pathetic. I knew you were sorry. Link would have been able to climb that boy easily. Climb. She ain't gonna make it either. Oh, she did. Yes. Come on. Yo, the graphics are actually tripping me out. I like them, too. This is what my dreams look like. Just images that look like something. I'm assuming this goes in here. Yeah, boy. You can't fool me. Look, I always, I, so, I strongly believe in the fact that if a, if a gamer, person playing the game, thinks something's a problem, then it is a problem, because... I, I get the style that they're going for, the, the glitchy running, but that's doesn't this is not smooth to me. Look at her. She's running to a beat, bro. She's running on cue, like duh, 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 duh. Okay. Atomic control panel. I'm assuming there's a panel missing and we need to put this there. There's nothing back here. Okay. What about back here? Nothing. Where? I need... I need to find out where this goes. Compass. Well, that's the bike. Yes, I am aware. Let me see what this atomic control panel does. Oh, I gotta change my clothes. She's a child. She needs to get more clothes. I mean, God. Quest. And her control device is used to control a machine monitor on its own mechanisms. Make adjustments where needed. Without these... In a bike, you're better off riding a goat. So I'm finished. I found what I needed. What's this woman want? I might as well talk to her. Jedi, greet me warmly. Hello, little grindler. I, I can't read. I'm sorry. It's so strange getting called that. I uh, yes, I tell Jedi that it's strange being called glider instead of sable, even or even clan child. What the heck kind of rail roll system they got in here? It's like call me glider. Not Sable or Mr. Clan Child. Just trying to get you used to it. She seems to really like it, and maybe I like it too. How do you not know what you don't like? My god, I am playing as a girl. My little glider. My little glider. I like that voice for her. She seems like the type of person I'd be like. Like Herbert from freaking Family Guy. Huh? Oh, I love you. You make me feel all warm inside. That's the vibe I get from her. Hello. 
I was at the temple, I promise it. Nigga, I was there! I swear, what temple is he talking about? That's the temple he's talking about? Frick you. Frick you, where did I just go? Hold on. What the frick is he talking about? He better not be talking about that temple. Nigga, I just... I, where did I go? Where did you send me? A post box logging in. Hello, Sable. Unread message is zero. Have a good day. Yes, yeah, yeah, screw you too. No, for real. Where am I supposed to go? Who is this person? I'm not talking to you. She looks across the landscape. Zeki's shoulders sag a little. I wonder what she's thinking about. Something wrong with you? The guy's voice is warmly incredulous. Credulous. Incredulous. I don't know how she's done it. That's Solari over there. Oh. Jump. I, I, I do I look like I'm, jump. I'm not kidding. I follow her gaze to it. Wait. My voice. I'm sorry. I follow her gaze to a little speck on the distance, which I now understand is her daughter, Hilaria. Jump. Jump. Does she need help? Zekai wait, shakes her hand. No, she's fine. And I'll get her. I'm just... She shrugs. Parenting. I suppose I know more about that when I'm older. Who are you gonna marry? I'm sorry. My, my girl here seems like she's a little out of her mind. But again, my mom's out of her mind. She married. Now, if she would have landed on that bike, that would have been a much cooler ending. Because apparently that wasn't the temple I was supposed to go to. I'm supposed to freaking go over here. Yes, sir. Get up there. Get on up there. We made it. The temple that this nigga hello wanted me to go to because he just can't give clear instructions or a waypoint. Ding, 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 ding. Run, run, run. Run, nigga, run, run, nigga, run, run. Go, go, go up. Climb, fool. Yes, yeah, sir. What are you? Hold on. What the heck are you? Chum egg. Oh, bro. Uh, offered by the chums when planting themselves into the ground. Perfectly smooth and hard as a rock. These eggs seem to float with how light they are. There must be a good place to deliver these. So he killed himself. Well, screw you, man. You should have lived longer. What the heck? Is that a butterfly? That's a man with butterfly wings. If I can see his, his balls underneath this. Hold on. I got I to gotta check. I got to check. Can you duck? Oh! You can... S oh, that's crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. His balls. Wait. This is a child's game. What the heck? I'm leaving. I thought I was. I did that as a joke. I didn't think it actually happened. Oh, freak me! She should be dead. That thing landed on my head. I should be dead. That thing landed on my head, and it's a triangular rock. That thing should have split me in two, like a katana hit in a soda can. Come on, bro. She invincible. I have nothing to fear. You ain't gonna scare me with no music. Yo. Trippy. Hey. Glitch lock. Glitch lock. Oi! Okay. Stone thrums like the beat of a heart as I approach the altar. You walk like a heartbeat. Dun, 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 dun. Like a freaking robot on an assembly line. You walk like a gosh darn bot, bro. Am I afraid? No. Exhilarated. Heck yeah. I'm ready for Rana to know me. I'm ready to know myself. I tell your curiosity in this sacred place. I know I am in her sight. I want to see her face. Take that mask off. Man gave me a vibrator? Are you serious? New Hillal is a weirdo. Oh, whoa, whoa. What is that, bro? Ketchup and mustard, bro. 
Oh, 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 o
I ain't saying goodbye to my clan, my family, my home, my childhood. My niggas the pop man, that niggas the pop. That play, turn into a rant. <laughs> turn into a rap. To lose the perpetual is sacrifice for another time. Boy, they love it out there, Sable, even when you don't. My advice, try to have fun, but there's a lot to be said about ritual independence. And all that out there, but the world's an easy place if you just enjoy first. Put joy first. I thank Halal for their advice and their help, and I tell them I'll miss them. Bye, Halal. It'll be over for you know it. Yes, it will. A warning and reassurance all in one. I say goodbye to both. Bye, bro. So we're at the tower. Seems like Shizo wants me to leave. Oh my god, who are all these niggas asking for me, bro? I am not the one to be called on. I call on people. Freak all of you. Look at you. This big old dude. Sizzle's an outcomer, outclaner to the Ibexi. But I've known her for nearly as long as I can recall and think of her more as a kind of distant relation than any sort of outsider. Mechanist. I'm told are given their spots, their posts. By their training and their code, they must go where they are needed. But Sizzle has been along us so long that it's easy to forget. It's an assignment first and foremost. As far as any of us are concerned, she is one of us. I think there is a perception among other clans that Ibexi are quite insular and that our designation of Ibexi versus outcliners suggests some nervous others other some nerds otherings of those who are unlike us. Say so racist, basically. But in practice, such things are not more of a result of our own nomadic nature. We seek to know who will travel with us and who we must leave behind. But we're all welcome to join. Y'all niggas is racist. That's what you said in a basic sentence. Y'all niggas is racist. That nigga ain't dark enough. Get him out of here. That's that. That's what you just said. And always please that Sizzle did. Sable. Wait, she's a girl. Um, Sable. She's a big girl. How do I muscle? Look at those arms, bro. We all got thick arms. Sable. How do you do, clan child? I can only think of one thing. Uh, I want. I'm excited for my bike. This is a throat, is throaty quality. So wait, it has a throaty quality to her voice, and it resembles through her mask when she laughs. She's quite a serious person most days, and I am always torn between pride and alarm when I manage to make her chuckle. Yes, Jedi told me how excited you were. Sizzle sniffs. She also told me Driss would be coming along to get your bike together, but I think he may have. I knew it. What? I had not mean to say it out loud, but I told her that was clear as clearing my throat. I don't begrudge Drish for his forgetfulness. Were I tasked with so many odds and ends, I might be, just be a scatter and besides, this would be good for you. I want you to scavenge the hover bike parts yourself. I'm like, what? I'm going to make my own? I said, well, if I expect to make my own hover bike. No, you're just going to make your hover bike. You were going to build your own hover What's the difference, nigga? I'm referring to every, everyone in here is a nigga. I'm serious. To make suggestions, you're creating something, but your bike already exists. They simply haven't taken form yet. Here, take this. This is going to be something. This is a navigator. You can use it to mark waypoints on your compass. Be useful for finding old parts. I see where I start looking. Our bikes are reborn in ruined ships and fragments spread apart. I'm going to start with that ship jail near your camp. All right, you'll find another up the great rock near Cider Cannon. And another behind the old. I already got that part. Great. So now we get to mark what you need. Uh, power supply and the calibrator. Oh. So this is that a senior student I head off in the search for components. Together we will create something new out of the old. I really hate all of you. You pay, you piss me the frick off. I have to look at where I'm going? Okay. She said right there, and I have no idea where she else said. Alright, got that one. I'm going. Oh my god. This is gonna take a Lyle. What's a Lyle, Joseph? Shut up, nigga. Hustle, girl. We gotta move. Fuck. Get me up here. Yep, give me that. Yep, 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 yep. Talk to the computer. There's nothing of use found in this ship, but I have noticed a blinking light flashing on the dashboard of the cockpit. Push the button. Do it. 
Voice crackles in the mi machinery in front of me. It sounds like the recording is barely audible. Stop messing around with those buttons, you absolute idiot. Sorry, Remen. Concentrate. I don't think I had to remind you how much work it was to get this far. We're almost here. All right. Let's see if you, let's see if what that old mechanic told us about holds up. If not, there'll be hell to pay. I hear the sound of mechanical adjustments being made through clicks. Buttons being pressed, perhaps. Wait. Got that. I hear the sound of mechanical adjustments being made. Three clicks. Buttons being pressed, perhaps. Okay. When I push this orange thing, pull that lever. Hard. Yes, Raymond. The sound of the click and a loud grunt before a snapping sound. Oh. On Rana's mask. Not that hard. You've torn it out. Suddenly, speakers are filled with static and a low rumble that gradually increases in pitch. And the sound of something, someone cheering. It worked. We're flying. One cheering. The sound of someone dancing. Okay, okay, let's focus. This thing is moving fast. We need to slow it down a bit. How do you do that, Remy? Let me check the mechanics notes. A long pause, a rumbling static sound that started playing when the ship took off until it was increasing in pitch. Remy. That lever, Toma. The one you just ripped out. We're going too fast. We're going to crash. We need to try to... The recording cuts off here. They died. They died. Dang, that's tough. That's so tough. I don't care. Now leave it alone. So there's nothing in this ship I can use? Are you kidding me? Cussing. Hey. Hold on. Oh. Majora's mask looking ahead at Are you looking for a calculator? I'm immediately on guard. Saima has always been a mischief maker and taking tremendous pleasure in tormenting me. In theory, I am older, more experienced, and I should be able to handle who is standing. Practice. You won't find it here. I've hated it. You'll never find me. Never. Never. She never fails to get to me. Give it back. Give it to me now. I order somebody to give it back, and I'm a gliding agent. She's a child. No! I don't think I will. Shoot her. You think I'm kidding? Shoot that woman in the face. You get aim a gun at her like, give me my stuff or I will kill you. I put a hole in the mask where your face should be. So I'm gonna off my irritation, but I'm not going to give in to her satisfaction. My cross are trying to effect a change. I'll give you the calibrator. I put my hand out, proud of myself for standing tall. Give me some beetles. <laughs> That's a fire trade, isn't it? Something you want for something I want. I try to decide it was more mature to push her over and steal the calibrator. Or the acquiescence. I can't say that word, I don't know what that was. But I simply stifle a sigh and shake her little hand. Perhaps some of the dull side in camp know where I can find some. Nigga, this is taking forever. Come here, boy. Get over here, nigga. Got you. Ay, ay, ay. There she is, you freaking weirdo. Stupid kid made me get some beetles. I should blast you. Here. I feel embarrassingly vindicated as I hand Saitama the Beatles. Sai Saitama. You don't deserve that name. Saitama the Beatles. But I rather than gloat, she hands me the calibrator and begins to cry. Frick you. What have I done? You're leaving. You're leaving and you never come back. You, 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 yeah. No one kid. Let her cry it out. Frick you. She blows her nose and then wipes her hand on her tunic. No, I never came back after the last gliding. Aren't you sad? You were her friend. Uh, she might visit going. People leave. That's their choice. Be cold. So some of that people are allowed to do whatever they, whatever she likes, and that's <laughs> church I should go. Then we must respect it. I wonder if she can tell I'm putting a little extra weight on my voice. Oh, if I sound like some wisdom of age. You wouldn't leave forever, right? Oh, darn straight. Well, just speak with someone cuts me off with the wail. Please don't go. Freak you, kid. Thank you, your mother, your father, your auntie, and your grandma. I smashed like beating your brother. I shot in the alley. <sighs> They're all nothing to me anymore. Only fragments of memories, of which I've dispelled in order to keep my sanity from exposing itself 
The mental restraint I've shown by not choking you out or hiding the key component I need for my mic is some sort of strength that I didn't know I even had. Do you have to waste my time here again? I will kill you. And this time, I will make sure I get the job done. To get whatever part this woman wants me to find. I go on around all my time. There's no music. I need music. You don't know me. You can't find me. I'm alone. Yeah. Hold me closer. Don't let go. We're not alone. Yeah. 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 Brightening stars in the darkness at night The sun comes out and we play all night That's how it goes That's how it goes I don't fall I just get back up Ain't nothing gonna stop me no won't stop me I'm not alone here I'm not alone here I'm right here I'm right here And I can't stay away From the hearts of my days The wind might feel cold But my heart feels warm And I hear it stay and find my way I'll hold you closer Hold me closer And don't let go The stars will follow On a way back home I'm alone I'm just alone and I can't feel afraid. Yes! The bike is. We can finish the bike. Let's get out of here, boys. Ooh, we're jumping off. Hee haw, boys! Yep, that's a high fall. Stop! Can't stop me. I return to Sizzle with the parts and it says she waves me over that I feel a pang of sadness in my chest. When will I see her again once I'm gone? You won't. Well done, Sable. Yes, everything we need. Ready for some are you ready to assemble your bike of your own? Heck yeah. The only thing good looks good though. It's gotta be black, fast, just pure dark force energy right there. That's good. The work. Sizzle relaxes in the workshop, but she isn't she, wait, it isn't that she's particularly rigid or anxious or ordinarily, but there's a certain calm beauty that one can only truly appreciate when Sizzo is in her element. I wonder if this is why, if it's this way for all mechanics. What you must understand, Sable, is that the components you acquire, they fit together. Not by chance, not by effort, but by nature. They belong to her. They have always belonged to her. All we are doing is assembling her from what she has already been. I nod and I feel a soft buzzing in my ears. Along my clan, we believe that machines have names. Held for ages like deep secrets and heard by those unequipped to us. We will find this one's name together. Shh, black forces. We're making this, bi this bike is for threats. So you darn well know. Sizzle out, she's particularly rich in a book. Nigga, it's the same conversation. I get it. Okay. How do I make the bike? How do I make the bike? How do I make the bike? Lift it up. Lift it up. <laughs> Gliding bike wings. What was that laugh? 
Give me that component. It's stuck in my face. Oh my god. I'm such a disgrace. This beat don't say. Beat don't drop. I don't like the beat, but it hit like heat like whoa. She laughs when he when she makes things. That's weird. I don't like things. Alright. This is just a backpack, bro. My bike is great. No, we gotta change that. Gliding bike booster. Put it together. Put it together. Put it together. Put it together. Slap. Slap. That's my bike. Can I paint it? Gotta make it black. Gotta make it black. Hey. Ain't back. Better, 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 better be black. Hey. I wanna make it black. Listen. Sizzle tilts her head a moment. Leaning in closer to Simon. Simon? Simon? Oh, once I know the other bike's name, Samoon. I can't name my bike. What the frick kind of name is Samoon, bro? Sounds like a dyslexic person spelling Simon. What the heck? Come on. I say the in a whisper to let Sizzle know. Si Samoon. Simoon. Well done, Sable. Nigga, what kind of name? What sort of name is that? That's what I'm saying. What sort of name is that? I say so what sort of name it is. And if it speaks to any particular kind of culture, if it does, then I do not know. Perhaps you will find out on your journey. How can you name my bike? So the shrugs mostly to herself. Or perhaps you won't, but I hardly think it matters. You're bonded all in the same. Tells the moon that I'm eager to know her better. And Caesar looks quite proudly at both of us. You're right then. For the gliding, may the odds turn their faces from you, Sable. An odd blessing, perhaps Caesar is prone to such things and I can read her in her tone. That is meant quite sweetly. You must learn to listen to some moon. Take care of her. Seek out my fellow mechanics on your travel. Sable, they will teach the art of machine whispering. Oh, I'm freaking long. Frick you. God. Dang, bro. That was loud. Oh, and take this. It's a mechanist badge. You need plenty of my ilk on your gliding. Show them worth, and they'll give you more badges. To think this is a good <laughs> twice for good nature. And give a bow. I am ready. Why is my bike this ugly freaking tank? I want a black bike. I wear black shoes, a black mask, black hat. I want a black bike. I'm stuck with this piece of garbage. Frick you. Put that away. Put that away. I should speak to Jedi. Why do I gotta talk to the perv again? God, all she wants is the cake. That's all she wants. Lord. Hello, old pervert. What you want? Sable. That photographer landed his balloon while you were away. You should go speak to him, see if he can't get the map. I nod and begin to go. But did I just move back and put something in my hand? Here's some money to get you going on your journey. Use it wisely. Get a little unwisely, then we'll have the mood strikes. It's good to know the value of money, but you never want to be ruled by it. I think did I, if, if bro, these words, he's def definitely a writer. Effusively. And I head out my way. Bye. 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 Is this what you wanted? Bye. You ain't getting none of this. Goodbye. Where, where, where's the cartographer? Really, I'm greetings, child. I saw you looking lonely at my blue balloon. Quite a piece of work, isn't she? It's bigger than I thought. That's what she said. I tried to explain that <laughs> first time I saw a balloon. I thought it was very small and somewhat far away, but I see it's quite large and it was very far away. I fell in love through the kind of explanation. Though, and the cartographer just nods without saying anything. I nod back. Oh, good to meet you. Oh, I should introduce myself. I'm Jordan. What are these names? It's Jordan. His name is Jordan, but of course they have to put a U in it because it has to be Jordan. Like he's some fancy dude. You make maps, nigga. You don't deserve a Jordan. All right. I tell him I'm Sable. Suppose that you come all this way to see me. It's probably a map that you're after. Hey, Sable. I would love a map, please. I tell this kind of time I'd love a map. Of course you would. That'll be 50 cuts. I'll buy the map. Goodbye. Farewell, child. Oh, I have to buy the map. 50, bro. 50 bucks for a freaking map. Frick you. Took all my money. 
God, capitalism. I love it and hate it. I think drawing for the mirror map is the best possibility. Something makes me feel more real. Good luck on your gliding table and still remember mine. Actually, I was. Short? I knew since I was a boy that photography was for me. But I spent a little extra time out there just to enjoy the world. Speaking of keeping an eye on the skies, eh? Plenty of my colleagues out there. And they have more maps to sell. You from Hakoi to Sadok Waste. I thank Jordan for the tip, and I say goodbye. Farewell, Charles. Goodbye, nigga. I unlocked the map, peace. Show me the map! Oh, dang. Dang, this map is gonna be big. She gonna be big. Yeet. Fall off. Yeet. Yes. God. We make it far. I turn to Jedi with a new lightness. And it makes the weight of my departure feel heavier still. What a strange day. Sable, is that a badge you got there? Sizzle gave it to me. I told Jedi that Sizzle gave me the badge. Then you must have earned it. Well done. I give out thanks. I'll say, well, if you keep this up, you'll be headed for the mass caster in no time. I try to think of going to back to the mass caster, but it seems possibly far away. Imagine choosing what I want to be. Imagine choosing what I want to be forever. I know what you're thinking, but don't worry about it. You'll get plenty of badges when you're out there. And once you've got three alike, you can trade it in for that mask. But I feel like your first mask is your final choice. The gliding is about freedom and exploration. I suggest you claim as many masks as you wish. Only at your final ceremony will you be able to choose one. Which one should I choose? You'll have to fill it out, but then... But when you know, you'll know. Now. Tone of her now puts the butterflies in my stomach. With all this time, there's only one thing left. It's time, isn't it? Time to walk through the face of the door to the temple of Rowanna. There you'll assemble your gliding mask and go. There are things I wish to convey to Jedi your depths of love and gratitude and fear and worry of hope. And though I found myself unable to speak of any of it in any words, I know she understands. Before you leave, child, you may leave there dry with the traditional Ebexi Maroon. I'm be proud of you with great comfort out there in the desert. If you leave today, you will not only be sable, clan child of the Ebexi. You will simply be sable, and the rest will come. But no matter what you are, no matter where your journey takes you, I will always know you. I will always love you. And I will see you again. It's not right, Shoddy. I don't know where my journey will end, but I know where it must begin. And I'm ready to get the heck out of this town. Oh, my God. Let me put on my new clothes. What you gave me? Dang, those are some ugly freaking pants. I guess, bro. I don't want blue pants. That cape, though, is lit. Hit that cape, glide. Hey, yo, I got a cape. That's pretty dope, actually. Look at that face. Face of a woman that's seen things. Hey, yo. There's a head inside of a head. Yeah, that's not creepy at all. Whoa. Holy moly. Of course it's a puzzle. Of course I have to run and jump. Yep, that's one. Pounce. Bop. Yeah. Put that ugly freaking mask on. You're going to need it. I don't ever want to see that button. Pop that off. Yeah. I want my mask. Whoa. Oh, shoot. That's creepy. It's the ketchup and mustard monsters again. That's my mask? Why do they look scary? Mod that boy out. Mod it out. Or not. I guess that'll do. I guess just floating some magic over it like you're freaking sauteing a steak. You don't have to do anything. 
Where's the mask? Oh, just, okay. Ooh, a Dexy mask. Give me that mask. Give me my mask. Okay, a mask worn by the sign. He's made of bone. He's one particular. He's made of... Oh, I can't see your face. Okay. Clan's frown on the sword. That's all this pressure. Okay, that is a cool mask. Let's get out of here, girl. I need a black cape, and I need black pants. Like jeans. My bike is over here. Where is my bike? Y'all niggas really gonna make me run. I hate all of you. I climb down the forest. Ha! Yeah. Whoever took my bike, you're gonna get capped. I got a Glock 19 in my back pocket. I'm gonna freaking shoot you. So get ready. Where are y'all? Where are all y'all? What the heck? They left me first. That's crazy. Hold on, there. Hold on, cat. Hold on, son. Hold on, chap. We left you in the dirt. We left you by yourself. Thought you gonna leave us? No. Nah. We gonna leave you? Yeah. Logging in. Hello, Sable. Today's voice echoes changing through the machine, yet still warms me. Well, Sable, this is it. The time you hear this will have gone. The gliding is a journey that must be begin alone. There's a certain nuisance, nunce, lost in transition. For that I'm grateful. It would be far too much to hear the cracks in her voice. And now I run weakly into her arms to stay forever. But I am ready, so I close my eyes and listen. But though you go by yourself, you are not without friends. You are not without family. You are not without love. These things you will always carry with you, as you do your mask. And I know I'm not supposed to do this, but if I were you, I might go and see Otari. They're the mechanics at Burnt Oak Station and among Sizzle's closest friends. Otari is a good contact to have in one's gliding. And a fine way to get another mechanic's badge if you're so inclined. Only a suggestion, though. As for us, we'll send another message once we return to where. So keep an eye out on those boxes and try not to forget us. She takes a long breath and I forget the things that as easy as breathing could ever exist. The world is waiting, Sable. Good luck. It's time, then. Time for me to go out on my own. Yeah. Dang, she running. Call out. What the heck? Oh my god, my bike comes to me. Yo. That's what I'm talking about, bro. You talk to it by whistling. That's sweet. And it's faster. And it's got a trail. We're definitely going through the giant rock. Getting out of here. It's a fast world. Oh! Hey! Let's go! It's Body! Body on night! Party on night! Party on night! Party on night! Party too hard! Party too fast! Party too hard! Party too fast! Party my eye! Party on night! Party too hard! Party too fast! We going real fast! We going too fast! I'm losing my life! I'm losing my life! Hey! 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 Ooh, I like this! We're moving! We're moving! Oh! Da 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 I like this. 
put this on a playlist, bro. In time, in time. Oh. I've lost my time, I can't get it back no more. Ooh. I've lost it all. I've lost myself. I find a way to come and take my life away. We're on a trail. We're on a trail. Trail of hopes and dreams. Trail of stars and sky. I'm bringing my end. I like the song a lot. It makes me feel so hot. Like I'm flying through the desert. Oh, what an honor sky. Flying through the sky. I'm flying away. I'm so getting caught ready for this. Looks like I have mechanical arms, I like that. Run, run, assassin time, assassin time. Now they implemented like a parkour system, like she could bounce off the wall, like boing, boing, and then stuff like that and climb up. That would be cool, like watchdogs, when you run up a wall in watchdogs, and you just do that side shuffle on the wall and then jump. Okay, there's a fire, but there's no people. Oh, is that a person? Fire is warm. We gotta make our way up here. And then I'm gonna end the video. But you know I have to you know I have to end my I knew I gotta I have to see what's up here. The call for adventure in games is that's what drives me. If I don't answer the call, what's the point of playing the game? Cactus, that'll probably hurt me. Don't touch it. I hear something on the top. That just gave me Legend of Zelda. Oh, uh, what's it called? Spirit Tracks. This game is so peaceful. The vibe of just running the wind tower. Ooh, this way. Let's go. You can't stop me. I'm too good for this. Obviously, that's the next place to go. Obviously, I'm going to go like this. Boom, baby. Give me that. Yeah. Yeah. Hit those jumps. Hops. Once I get to the top of the tower, I got to do my monologue. And then we out. See the beautiful land before us. Beautiful land of opportunity and exploration. Indefinite exploration. Oh. Yo. The music in this game is awesome. Something down there. Chest. We obviously, we obviously gotta see what it is, but... I want to take a look at the land for me. Ooh, that's a good profile. That's a that's the screenshot I'm gonna use for the thumbnail. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. I stand amongst indefinite adventure. The stars guide me. Gods are on my side. My town may have left me, and I may not know where I need to go, but I know adventure calls me. One way or another, I'll find my way. I'll find the mask, and they will guide me to what I am to be.